A singer with a rare medical disorder has gotten a heartbreaking update from his doctors. Right now, there's nothing more surgically they can do to help him. Followed the story of Dustin Chapman since his diagnosis five years ago with the disease of the esophagus that makes eating impossible. But it doesn't keep him from singing. Hundreds of thousands watched this video of the Whiteville native's uplifting performance at the Duke Cancer Institute. WECT's Ashley Kazakowski caught up with Dustin recently. Ashley, He's hopeful, despite what doctors say. And doctors, Fran, recently told Dustin they can't operate on him again because of scar tissue from his past surgeries that didn't work to fix his condition. But he remains hopeful about his future and his singing career. And now he uses his voice in ways he never thought he would. <laughs> Passing on his passion to the next generation. Dustin Chapman never considered a career in education, but now teaching is music to his ears. The more we do, the more they're falling in love with it. There's nothing more rewarding than that, nothing at all. Acme Delco and Hallsboro Middle Schools in Columbus County hired him in October as a music instructor. For someone who performed in front of thousands and alongside country stars like Scotty McCreary, his most rewarding experience wasn't when he was in the spotlight. It was watching his 90 students at their winter concert last month. And hearing these 90 kids that I've worked with sound even better than I'd ever anticipated it sounded like. It was honestly the most satisfying, rewarding thing I think I've ever been a part of. And if I can continue just seeing these, these little seeds that are being planted in them just continue to grow. One, two, three, four. I, I can imagine doing that for the rest of my life, you know, and I never even thought about teaching. But other aspects of his life are not as harmonious. Dustin has a disease called achalasia. It means his esophagus won't allow him to keep down food. His students don't know the extent of his illness. I don't really go in full detail with them um, because one thing that I'm very adamant about is I never want anyone feeling sorry for me. Just because I have a sickness doesn't mean that I can't do what everyone else can do. Yes. The district knew about his condition when it hired him. When they called me about the job, they were like, we understand, we know there's going to be appointments, we know there's going to be days where you don't feel well, we, we know that. But we're going to work with that, and we're going to work with you, and we're going to work with you to give these kids the best education and music that they can get and so that's been it's been amazing uh, 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 uh. a crescendo in his career comes at a low point in his condition One, two, doctors say there's nothing more surgically they can do you always hope someone's going to tell you you know we can make you better um, and i know there's so many medical advancements that one day it may could possibly happen but right now it's not it's not in the plan so um it was extremely tough. Four, one, two, three, four. A disheartening diagnosis. But he leaves his disappointment at the door of his classroom, where he's a hero. And they're like, I listened to your song today on the way to school, or I, I like listened to this video. And it's, it's cute. It is. It's, it's fun. I try not to let my head swell up thinking about it. Okay. The students may not be fully aware of what he's going through. But they do know about his musical the talents. They'll, they'll all the time ask me, like, Mr. Chapman, if we do good today, can you sing us a song? We got one of those performances once the students left for the day. Give me the words, cause I can do this on my own. Dustin channels all he's been through into his songwriting. Being thankful for the people that invested in you because now you're able to invest in others and things like that. That's a, something that I'm very working hard to finish in as a song that talks strongly about that. No need for me to turn back around. For now, he just works to finish each day on a high note. And turn back around.
and we were just blown away listening to him sing and watching him in the classroom. You can really see that Dustin found his calling with these kids. He's working now with a nutritionist to try to maintain his weight. If he can't, doctors will have to put in a permanent feeding tube. And despite all he's dealing with, all he's been through, he really never stops smiling.